G'day guys, Alex from Axe Physio here. If you're someone that plays a field sport like rugby or maybe even a court sport like basketball and you suffer from repeat chronic ankle sprains, so you're always rolling over your ankle, causing that pain on the outside um, of, of your foot, then stay tuned, watch this video. I've got some really easy but really effective exercises that you can do without any equipment, maybe just a band. This way you can do these exercises at the field, at the court, so that you're not having to find that time later in your week to get that rehab done. So once you finish your session, you can just do 10 minutes of some quality ankle rehab that's gonna help prevent ankle sprains in the future. This video starts from early exercises that you can do if your ankle's really weak or you've recently just sprained it, all the way up until high end, rehab that's towards the back end when you're trying to get back into sport or you're really just trying to get the ankle really explosive and strong and resilient to those ankle sprains when you're playing your sport. If you feel like you learned anything throughout the course of this video and you appreciate the content, please help me out by smashing that subscribe button, hitting that like button, and I'll see you in any other videos that I put out. And just know that I do have other ankle exercise videos that are really more gym specific away from the field as well for you to check out. All right, let's dive into this video. Our first exercise we want to do is an ankle eversion. This strengthens those anti-roll muscles on the outside of our calf. Here I have Premiership Rugby player Charlie Willett demonstrating this exercise on her injured ankle. So we want to make sure we keep that leg nice and straight and it's just the ankle that is moving out against the band to strengthen those perineal muscles on the outside of our leg. Perform 3 sets of 12 reps. Now the banded mobility is really important to restore ankle mobility. If you've got really stiff ankles and your knees can't come over your toes, the ankle compensates in a way which actually promotes further sprains through lack of mobility as the ankle joint starts to compensate by moving a bit more laterally as opposed to being over the toes and this promotes further sprains. This exercise can be done in two ways, in that kneeling position or standing, making sure that you're slow, you're getting your weight over your toes and that band is just helping to promote that ankle joint to roll backwards as this will allow your knee to go forwards which is the mechanism of the ankle joint. In that sort of hinge area we pull back at the ankle, we lean forward with the knee and this gets that ankle dorsiflexion range back which is really important to help prevent those ankle sprains. It is of the utmost importance that we strengthen up our calves. Put your hands up against the wall or have a partner, raising up and down, keeping that knee locked and strengthening that calf with a basic single leg calf raise is a good way to do it. You can add weights by holding a dumbbell. Another really important exercise is the soleus press that I've covered in other videos, so check out that video as well. But we wanna make sure that we develop really good calf capacity or strength, as if you don't have sufficient strength, you won't be able to withstand the forces that will be occurring at your ankle joint when you're playing sport. Another big building block of a successful ankle rehab is developing good dynamic balance. Now a static balance like a single leg balance as seen here isn't useless because early on after an ankle sprain you can't do dynamic balancing. So starting with some static balancing is a nice way to get the body waking up. Now we can go from eyes open to eyes closed as seen here and three sets of 30 seconds to 60 seconds is a nice place to start. A combination of strength and balance is toe walking. Forwards and back, three sets of 15 meters is a nice way to get a little bit of balance plus a little bit of strength. Now the final hard exercise for this early stage of rehab is a demi point balance. It is a dancing exercise where you're up on that slight calf raise keeping the eyes open, but once you get good at it, you can do it eyes closed, and this is really challenging. So your foot, your forefoot is the only thing that's on the ground, your heel's off the ground, eyes closed, try to balance, it's gonna work those stability muscles, it's a great exercise. Moving on to clock exercises, now this is a great way to get mobility in the ankle, control in the knee, and in the hip. As when we roll our ankles, it isn't always just the ankle that's the problem, this is a nice all over body balance control exercise so start at 12 o'clock work your way around the clock face we can do this eyes closed same thing working on that balance keeping those eyes closed and you're just tapping the ground you're not really taking weight on that back leg as you can see Charlie she overbalances there and she works her way around the clock face I would suggest about two rounds per leg is enough here now as soon as we can, we wanna get athletes back doing the thing they like. In Charlie's case, she's a professional rugby player, so single leg balancing, but we're making it harder and adding in a passing element where she's gotta balance whilst catching, keeping an eye on the ball, and firing good pass across her body or back to me. Now we wanna do lots of different angles as she's gonna pass different angles in a game, but this could be done for a basketball player or any other court person. 
toe walking. Now we turn the toe walking exercises. Now it's balance, it's strength, and it's control with regards to her passing. Lots of things going on here. That ankle is getting confused. Stability is being worked on the ankle here, as well as strength. So it's just about making these exercises harder, as, as hard as we can before we can get to the more exciting stuff once your ankle sprain calms down. Same thing with the clock passing. Standing on one leg, we're passing, we're working the ankle stability, plus the control of the hip and the knee. Lots of things happening here. It's a really great static balance exercise that can be done whilst the ankle is sort of a little bit sore and not ready for running or impact type work. So once we can start impact work, I love pogos. Hopping on the spot, it gets impact into the ankle joint, but it's less severe than running, so it's much more tolerable. Once you can tolerate doing double leg pogos, I then encourage single leg pogos. It's a great way to build up strength in that specific ankle joint. You wanna get that springiness and that bounce back, and after an ankle sprain, you'll notice the difference. It's quite pronounced. I encourage all athletes recovering from an ankle sprain to work on pogos consistently. It's a great plyometric exercise. It strengthens up the ankle and gets you bouncy, gets you springy, and it gets you explosive. Progressing the demi point exercise again, we're now doing hops. So you gotta hold that ankle stiffness in that position. Great strengthening exercise, plus a lot of control here. Start off doing it on the spot and then forwards and backwards. Even try side to side if you've got the ability to. We're just trying to really confuse the ankle now with this dynamic ankle stability and strength combination of exercises. Once people are doing things like pogos and lots of hopping on the demi point, they can then tolerate things like running. But that doesn't mean we stop thinking about exercises that are gonna challenge the ankle. So single leg jump lands, it's a great way to challenge the power of the ankle. It's a great way to challenge the landing mechanics of the ankle. So single leg jumps where you're trying to increase the amount of distance, but you're sticking the landing is really important. We can then sync them together. So this is getting the plyometric ability of your ankle back. If you don't have good plyometric ability, meaning you don't have the ability to land and then produce force again quickly, it's gonna be very hard for you to get out on a rugby field or on a basketball court or something like that and be effective and have a good relationship with the ground. A great way to get that relationship back is a lateral jump land. So we just don't move forwards and backwards in most sports. We need to work laterally and work around that clock face like we did with other exercises. So same thing, work side to side, get that capacity in the calf, moving laterally, jump land, make sure we control that landing, and then we can start to sync it together. Get that side to side plyometric ability going. Make sure you've got that good relationship happening with the ground where you can hit the ground and move straight away. Eventually we get a ball in the player's hands, uh, so as if they're in that sort of game scenario. Now we also wanna work on large laterals, so the ability to jump, land over a bigger distance. This means that your ankle has to deal with those bigger forces because you're jumping further. Little hops are great to get the, the balance and the control, but now we're working a lot more power, loading up those ankles. And then we can do large sink laterals, so three sets of three reps. It's, it's more of a power exercise, we're not trying to really fatigue you here, we're just trying to work hard as if you're stepping someone or you're trying to defend someone in the game and you're having to move on that angle, your ankle needs to be protected through doing these exercises. By adding in the ball, the exercise is becoming more sport specific. As a rugby player, we're gonna to have to catch the ball without watching our ankle. In this exercise, Charlie is unable to watch what her ankle is doing. She's having to watch the ball the entire time to catch the pass. So this is a great exercise to add in for anyone with an ankle injury. This could be a basketball, this could be a rugby ball, but making sure that we're sticking the landing whilst executing the skill well.